Hey guys, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. It's Beer 30. Let's go take a walk, see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Thanks a bunch for stopping by. I do appreciate it. Today's beer comes from New Park Brewing. These guys are an up and coming brewery. Uh, they're uh, uh, in Connecticut. Uh, and from what has been sent to me so far, they are producing some world class outstanding beers, especially in the IPA and double IPAs. I don't know if they're doing any dark beers or not. Uh, I haven't had any of those sent to me if they are, uh, but they are doing these very very damn well uh, this was sent to me by Christian and he writes that he picked uh, the beers up uh, on 925 from the brewery he said he didn't have to wait in line he went during the week I uh, got a feeling if you don't go during the week and you go on the weekend you're probably going to stand in line uh, they're a lot like Treehouse and Trillium and some of those other ones uh, uh, that are brewery only releases I think and uh, a lot of people are clamoring and and buying all they can get their hands on because I'm sure there is a limit to what they're allowing you to buy most of the time uh, this is Hop Air, Hop Air, H O P I A R Y. Uh, uh, the date on the bottom of this one says canned on 920, looks like 925 of 19. Uh, it does have the ABV of 8% written on the back and it does have that canned on date on it. So we've got the two most important bits of information ABV and canned on date. Uh, IBUs are not so critical anymore. I would like to see it if it's available, but with the hopping techniques they're doing now, with the whirlpooling and stuff, a lot of that, a lot of the times it's not accurate uh, on the IBUs. But you know, if they can give us that information, it's just more, more information that we have to, uh, to know whether we're drinking a 50, 60, 70, 80, 100 IBU beer, guys. So. Uh, over to Untap, they have it at 8%. They uh, don't have the IBUs, and the commercial script says brewed with large amounts of oats and wildflower honey. Uh, it reminds me of wildflower honey. Uh, honey beer uh, would be like a mm, Bell's Two Hearted Ale, uh, which I can't get here anymore. Uh, dry hop with three varieties of American hops, flavors of toasted oats, floral honey, tropical fruit, and pine needles. So, uh, Christian, once again, thanks for sending it to me. And let's uh, get this big 16 ounce plain jam silver can with a stick on wrap around the label into the glass. Not so cloudy coming out of the uh, can here, guys. So maybe, maybe there's some settling that has gone on, and we'll get that back in pour into the glass before I go off camera. But not super cloudy coming out. Looks like a honeycomb here. I guess that's the wildflower honey on the label that they're representing. Looks like a beehive there, guys. About a finger and a half of head. Uh, it is a little cloudy. It's not super cloudy hazy. Uh, doesn't look like a, a typical New England style, but it does look like an unfiltered beer. Good looking beer. I can see light through the thin part of the glass down here, so eh. Not quite into the orange juice looking beer like the one we did yesterday, uh, but very cloudy, very uh, hazy on the bowl part here, but not so much down here. I can see light through it. So to the nose we go. Very nice. Giving some hot presents, some tangerines, some oranges. Maybe a little bit of tropical fruit nose, maybe some mango. Some stone fruit. Smells very nice. Smells very, very pleasant, guys. Nice hop aroma. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Christian. Thank you, sir. Very pleasant. For an 8%er, it drinks very, very easy. Alcohol is well hidden. 
a lot of tangerine, uh, citrusy. A little bit of pine in there and some tropical fruit notes. Very, very pleasant. Very tasty beer. I understand why people are standing in line. This is a very well made beer, guys. I'm not sure it's going to end up getting a monster grade, but let's throw this around in case there's any settling that's going on in the can. A little bit of chunkiness come out of that last back end pour, so there are some floaties uh, going to be in the probably the final chug on this one, but uh, it is an unfiltered beer, uh, but not quite to the monster type New England style. It is a hazy, cloudy beer, uh, more than likely an unfiltered beer, but not that bright orange juice color that a lot of New England beers have. So let me sip on this and we'll come back and we'll give it a great guess. All right, guys, I'm back in the seven for a while. Very tasty beer. Alcohol is well hidden. A lot of uh, uh, hop aroma on this one, a lot of hop taste. That's not a tin beer to me. Uh, you may disagree with that. Uh, I find it very pleasant to drink. I would buy this beer if I could get it here, guys. It's into the my go-to ABV range being 8%. Uh, very tasty. It's not super cloudy like a lot of New England style beers are, but it does have a lot of hot presence to the beer guys it is a very tasty beer and like i have said many times uh, with these new park uh, beers that's been sent to me they are doing some very tasty stuff guys uh, it's very pleasant to drink very smooth for eight percenter very pleasant final chug A delicious beer guys uh, not outstanding uh, world-class to me especially after the one we had yesterday from uh, Treehouse uh, but it is an a beer I'm gonna give it a minus 93 for me guys uh, I would buy this beer I would absolutely buy this beer if I could get it here and that's the biggest recommendation I could give to you uh, over to uh, un uh, beer Advocate, they have uh, 93 outstanding. It is an outstanding beer. Uh, over to Untapped, they have it at 4.2. So both of those grades are their A minus grades, and that's where I'm putting it. So it's unanimous from all three of us Beer Advocate, Untapped, and myself. A minus beer. Uh, very pleasant. Not something that's going to be off the chain in the hop aroma, but it is there. It's very pleasant, very well done. Uh, very enjoyable. I would buy this beer if I could get it here. I absolutely would, guys. So, Christian, thanks again for sending it to me. Guys, if you've had the Hop Airy from New Park Brewing, this is a 2019 edition. Let me know what you think. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.